And welcome back. Okay, so we're going to have Pikum with us. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be a fun fucking fair share. Um, luckily, since we don't have to worry about it. Oh, oh, yeah. I am fucking screwed. Alright, let's do this. Are you prepared to show me a good time? Alright, fire. Oh, this is bad. As you know. As you know. Supernova. Man, she is getting her ass kicked. <laughs> Kill this guy. I'm fucking <laughs> Fucking bitch, man. I need to heal up everyone. <laughs> Fucking bitch, man. I'm just. <laughs> I wish Piku, uh, you know what, I wish I was had Yoshino because she actually destroys our <laughs> Supernova! 
guys. Stop moving, you asshole! Stop it, move it. Thank God, man. Jesus Christ. I wanted to get him out of the way because I know he can use a f fucking bullshit. You need to cool off. Alright, I don't have any. Well, she's with this fire too. Yeah. Jesus Christ! That was fucking difficult. You're tougher than you look. We're right back at you, princess. If you're trying to make me like you, it's backfiring horribly. Director Yuki, you would be unwise to continue fighting under these conditions. Then we withdraw. Huh? Wait! So what if we don't destroy this delusion? He will. All we've got to do is wait outside for the disappearing act to begin. Like we drove them off. And I helped. I wonder how the others are doing, though. They must be facing off against the Grand Phantasm by now. You're right. We should go after them. There better not be more shit. That will be fucking ridiculous! Are you ready, Reiji? Yeah, I'm good. Definitely shown you guys the uncoolest side of me, though. It was kind of cool. Huh? You say something? Uh, nah. Just really windy in here. All right, sweet. I thought we're done. Oh, okay. What the hell? All right, who do we have? Oh, we have Moe and Katana. Well. I see what the hell this is. So we're dealing with a fucking insect! God damn it. Where's Scyther? He looks like a fucking Scyther from fucking Sonic 2! Alright, you bastard. The answer I seek is binary. 
I'm just looking for a zero or a one. Show me what you got. Everybody ready? Is it really okay to do this? Mizuki? Even if Mari is just a delusion, you probably won't forget everything about your time with her. You may just end up being left behind, all alone with your memories. Now look here. I can imagine you sitting there in misery, thinking to yourself, if I'm suffering this much, I'd have been better off forgetting everything. Is that how you felt? It is. Yeah. So you think I'll go through the same thing you did? In that case, I guess I'll be okay destroying this delusion after all. Hey, Tachibana. You have any clue what the hell these two are talking about? None whatsoever. <laughs> so, Yamato, we're talking about you. What? What do you mean? He means that even after he lost everything, he still had you. That's right. If it weren't for you, I'd still be curled up in a ball sulking somewhere. So even if Reiji loses nearly everything that's dear to him, we all know he won't lose you guys. You'll always be there. That's what's giving him the courage to break this place down. <laughs> I'll cut it out. <laughs> Bro, man, yeah! <laughs> Don't start blushing until we're out of here. Right now, we've got to stand tall and fight. This is the real deal, guys. Don't hold back on me now. Go full on berserker if you have to. Don't you hold back either, old man. This is no time for hesitation. Thank you. <laughs> you say something? Just really windy in here. All right, I'm trying to reach out to the truth. <laughs> fucking it, Only one customer. We can do this, everybody. Man, this thing is fucking... This thing, look, this thing... This thing looks fucking terrifying. Like, if I saw this thing in a fucking... If I saw this thing in a fucking in the real world, I'll be like losing my fucking shit. Especially when I can't fucking fly. Man, fucking. Luckily, he's weak as his fire. So. Wow. Fucking yeah, he got fucked up. Hold on. Man, this thing is fucking tough. God damn, man. I might have to This thing has a lot of fucking health. We're only halfway health. Luckily we have, luckily we have Mizuki who can fucking heal, cause the other three jackasses can't! Wait a minute, 
Oh, oh, okay, so Yamato. This thing's gonna take fucking forever to get kill! Yeah. Yeah, he's got fucked up. This thing won't fucking die! God damn, man! We're gonna be on this boss fight forever. You've struck the enemy's weak point. Continue in turn. We're gonna be doing this again! Jesus Christ, stop. Fuck up, bitch! Jesus Christ! This can't be happening. Ray just keeps fucking dying, man. Jesus Christ! Is that right, Fado? Oh, we don't want that. Where is it? Um, five. <laughs> Right. That was fu- oh wow, I got a lot of money for that. True strength on I'm still growing up. I feel like I've gotten strong. Everyone leveled up, man. I think I was over underwhelmed for that fight. There it goes. The solution has been destroyed. There you are. Are you guys alright? Saki, Mippity. Where's the Grand Phantasm? It's taken care of. We won. No. Not yet. Reiji? It's not over yet. Okay, it's not over yet! God damn, I need to fucking like stack up my fucking team, man. This is probably like the most interesting fucking concept there is. They go for, for. I gotta stack up my fucking items. It's night time! So, what's going on exactly? The encroachment of the delusion has been halted by the looks of it. But Reiji hasn't lost any of his memories. Congratulations, Reiji. Kasuga? Seems she was real after all. 
Mari, doesn't it just feel great? One mystery crossed right off the list. Whew. But your fears are far from quelled. <sighs> There's something I'd like to give you. What is it? It's a thank you letter we simply keep forgetting to hand over. When you have a spare moment, you should give it a read. Catch you on the flip side. I don't know how to feel right now. Yeah, is this I don't a happy either. moment or a sad moment. I plan on smiling either way. I'm still here and things didn't turn out so bad, right? <sighs> Reggie. Huh? Who was it this time? Had to be Yamato. Wasn't me. Funny ears, that wasn't you. My stomach's not nearly that loud. It's sucky! Feel like this has happened once before, actually. Uh. Yep, it did. That stomach noise just now was me. What? Huh? I'm sorry. <laughs> For real? That was quite the growl, Missy. It would seem the classy thing to do would be not to draw attention to it. <laughs> the stomach <laughs> empty, you know. Yeah, but not everyone's stomach makes that kind of noise. That was funny. <laughs> mean. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But you know, it feels good to laugh. It's like the weight right off my shoulders. So thank you, Saki. I, uh, okay. Would say we all get some food. I believe I still owe you guys a meal. <laughs> oh, the yakiniku is nigh. You get the Grady Calvi, remember? Oh. Seriously? <laughs> Your treat, Reiji? Hold up. What is it, Cole? There's still something, or someone, that needs some explanation. <laughs> oh, that's right. Mizuki. He's, uh... I won't just forget about how he and his friends sought to destroy my delusion. Or that he pulled the trigger on the destruction of mine. Come on now, everybody. Can't we all just get along? Yeah, I guess he did do all those things, but uh, back then we didn't really know. It's okay, Asahi. But these two aren't wrong. This isn't where I belong. But without the freedom, you know. Thank you, Saki. Mizuki. I owe you all an apology. <sighs> and I certainly don't expect you to forgive me. But I hope you'll allow me one last selfish request. I want you all to take good care of Asahi. Wait. And with that, I bid you all adieu. Uh, huh? Hold on. Ko? I didn't hear anyone give you permission to just up and leave. Yeah. We're headed out for Yakiniku at Mansebashi. What? Hey, I'm paying, so I decide where we eat. But I... Stop dawdling. The gluttonous princess is nearing her breaking point. If you don't hurry, she might just eat you. Hey, are you talking about oh, no. me? <laughs> I said fire! Hello. I'll go ahead and get us a table and you guys can meet me there. Looks like most of our group isn't willing to own up to how they really feel. Sorry, what's going on exactly? I think it's safe to say no one thinks of you as an enemy anymore, Mizuki. Or maybe it would be better to say that we all think of you as a friend now. Uh, I... We're going to go on ahead too. Don't take too long getting there. <sighs> High five? Huh? Guess you couldn't manage to get away from me after all. At long last, I can finally stop chasing you. What are you talking about? But now it's my turn to run, and your turn to try and catch me. Join us, Mizuki. Join us for delicious yakiniku. Asahi. Yeah, what do you have to join the party as a marksman? It's best fun. Yeah, I know he was part of the group. So you get him pretty late, man. You get Mizuki pretty late. It's midnight. So this is your whole party. That beef wasn't half bad, though I'd have liked to try a bit more of the A5 rank beef. I bet you would have, ordering nothing but the most expensive cuts. You don't even know how spoiled you are, do you? Uh, <laughs> I will say that was some pretty top of the line sirloin, though. I can still taste the amazing oil they cooked it in. 
I don't think I've ever seen anyone enjoy Grady Calvi the way you did back there. What? Seriously? <laughs> did you pull a switcheroo on me? If you ask me, the best part of a meal like that is the ice cream afterward. Eight scoops is a bit much, though, don't you think? You're one to talk, given your standards. You need to eat better food. If it fills me up, it's good enough. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You helped facilitate his neat lifestyle, didn't you? You, you neat enabler! Huh? Me? Couldn't you have gotten him a job or something? Was that also directed at me? I don't see anyone else looking mm. after him. Why am I suddenly under attack here? <laughs> That's pretty much your role, right? You're the group punching bag. <laughs> really put the fucking blast? Saki is a fucking blunt! She's so fucking blunt! What the fuck? But in a, we're all best friends kind of way. <laughs> and here I thought the punching bag was my hard earned money. Figures. The person who ate the least is also the only one decent enough to thank me. <laughs> this world's gone crazy. <laughs> Uh, I love the comedy. It's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, it's so fucking funny when they're taking pod shots at each other. Don't be so stingy. You've got infinite money. You're an adult. Oh, so now that I'm putting the bill, I'm a proper adult, huh? <laughs> well, you better start respecting your elders, boy. Oh, oh yeah, Ragey. Did you ever read that thank you letter from the bureau? What did it actually say? Right. I completely forgot. Huh? There's a lot in there. And they've got our names on them. Yeah, there's one page for each of us. So they wrote us each a thank you note? What does it say? This is a formal warning regarding the handling of delusions without permission from the proper authorities. That's not a thank you card. Stupid is what it is. You are hereby advised that any further association with delusions in any capacity will be seen as a violation of the Delusion Control Act, hereafter DCA, and measures will be taken against you. I've never heard of any Delusion Control Act. It's gotta be bogus. <laughs> Who do they think they are? They think they're the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Ruling. And unfortunately, they're right. So in other words... We're poised to become enemies of the state. Oh, so now we're going out to the state. I've been running for so long. Pretending to be an adult, but running away from my problems like a child. Yes. What's reality? And what's delusion? Even now, I'm not really sure. And I'm still as scared as I've ever been. But I Chapter have been released in other ways. I'm not pretending to be more grown up than I really am anymore. I struggled to the bitter end. And I wasn't really able to become the adult I thought I was supposed to be. But I did find my answer. From the very start, there was never any reason for me to be afraid. So now we're now now the main characters. Now now our main enemy is the fucking Burton Bureau, apparently? I don't fucking know. This is just one ass and I has another! Wait, what chapter are we on? Chapter 14, Prayers in the, on High. So now we've got everyone. Um, so we're picking a fight with the state. Uh, what time is it? Hello? Seriously? Hello is all you have to say for yourself? Mizuki? What time is it? 2.17 p.m. Good morning, Asahi Van Winkle. <laughs> Good morning. At least I know you're up. I wanted to let you know that we're all gathered at Akemi's. I'm sorry. I'll be right over. No sense in hurrying now. Honestly, I'm not surprised. You didn't sleep a wink yesterday, did you? Um, didn't I? You don't even remember? You looked like the walking dead yesterday, exhausted beyond all reason. I just did you the favor of assuming you hadn't slept. Guess old Daybreak Asahi's up to his old tricks again. You might be right. I 
pretty sure I don't remember sleeping. Anyway, we'll be here whenever you do arrive. Just try not to take any shortcuts or get sidetracked on your way. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there soon. Later. You know what the funny thing is? I thought this playthrough was gonna be a lot less. Cause we, cause right now we're on, we're on chapter. We are on chapter um, fourteen, and there's two more chapters after that. Chapter thirteen is very short because we've got the whole crew back again. I mean, we've got every character sort of. Well, at least you got the whole crew again, so we might as well see what's going on. Sort of. I might do the fucking fighting arena by itself, by the way. Because that's just too fucking ridiculous. And the fact it was a bit easier time just to get cold and fucking... Money and freaking bullshit. Want to get everyone? Sorry, I'm so late. I'm just impressed you managed to sleep this long. You're the neat little baby needs wish they could grow up to be. Now, well, now. So, what do we do now? Personally, I have zero recollection of doing anything that made me an enemy of the state. Still, after being served to the threat that bold. There's no way we can move about with impunity anymore. I don't know what we can do. <sighs> damned if we do, damned if we don't. Should we do or don't, then? That is the question. Oh, don't scrunch up those youthful faces like that. Uh, Kemi? You know what we've never done? We've never properly introduced ourselves to one another in a round. Are you looking at me? That's right. Mizuki, is it? I believe this is the first time we've ever actually spoken to one another. Isn't this kind of a bad time? Not at all. Would you mind telling me a little about yourself, Mizuki? Uh, okay, sure. I'm Mizuki Aihara, a sophomore in college. I've been friends with Asahi since elementary school. I like to read, I work part-time as a private tutor, and uh, my dreams for the future include we get it. Next! Sorry? Now it's my turn. I'm Ryu Mimose, age 14. My hobbies are <laughs> things hate bugs. Ryu, Mippity Bob doesn't want to hear fucking this fucking Mizuki. My dream for the future is to become a top idol. When I do, I hope to bring smiles to every man, woman, and child on the planet and cheer everybody up. Though I guess that's more delusion than dream, huh? Still, I'm going to try anyway, starting right here in Akihabara. I think that's a wonderful dream, Ryu. And Yamato, uh, I do believe you're next. Huh? Come on now, don't be shy. I'm Yamato Hongo, age 16. You're 16? Oh, shut up. And my hobbies are... I'm watching anime, we know. Are you still trying to pretend you're not shooting? What the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> your dream for the future is just to watch more anime. No, it's not. Yes, it is! Really? Nice job, I Yamato! I want to be a scriptwriter. Or a playwright or something. Write the most interesting stories in the world. Wow. That's the first I've heard of that, Yamato. I'm hoping I can get my works played or performed all throughout Akihabara someday. So you can let your chuny flag fly high, I think. <laughs> What? Like your dreams are any better? How about you go next, Sonata? Tomi Sonata, age 17. Let's see. My favorite food is manju buns. Getting a jump start on the gnarled old hag thing, I see. You shut the hell up! <laughs> and Katomi, what are your dreams for the future? I? Hmm. I've actually never thought about it. Well, you're a big fan of dolls, right? I make no secret of that. Perhaps I could become a doll maker. There are lots of doll shops in Akiba, so the market does exist, at least. I'd say that's a very achievable dream for you, Katomi. I don't know if I'd call it a dream myself. Feels like more of a delusion. How about you? Who, me? Yes, of course. 
If we were all going around talking about ourselves, your turn was going to come up eventually. Y yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'm Saki Hoshino, age 18. My hobby was really just nullifying delusions. I've never done much else. She's 18? Oh, wow, she, she's like one year younger than fucking the Sai. I always dreamed about protecting the world. But of course, now I know how silly I was. So I guess my dream now is just to find a new dream. <sighs> Are you for real? I don't think it's that outlandish. Akihabara seems like a great place to find new dreams, if you ask me. Um, eh, never at worse. Finding your true calling in life is a dream for the young, but a dream nonetheless. How about you, Reiji? I really don't know a whole lot about you, actually. Nobody wants to hear about me. Oh no, Ray Ray, I'm afraid we do. What say you dredge up those old memories and tell us all about yourself, hmm? Yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> You'll be bored. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm Reiji Shinomiya, a youthful and vibrant 28-year-old. Oh, he's 28. Oh, I'm already bored. You're already rude. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I like booze, hate things with no taste, and I've already left all my dreams behind. Ugh, I'm really bored. You're gonna be really crippled if you don't shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> used to be using <laughs> the hostility. No. The fucking hostility. What the? Fuck? That's a fucking pull threat from Rangey to Yamato. A long, long time ago. Can't really call that a dream anymore. Guess I do have another delusion in me though. Oh, what's that? I want to uncover and get my hands on every last one of the junk parts leaving within Akiba. Ah, oh, cool. So you can build me a PC then, right? Yeah, eventually. Once I've gotten around to building PCs for literally every other person on the planet besides you. What's wrong, Asahi? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Lost in some stupid delusion, I bet. Yeah, maybe. Well, it is your turn, Asahi. Asahi Tachibana, 19. As you know, I'm basically just your everyday meat. My hobby is sleeping, and the things I hate most are studying and work. I have no goals or ambitions. I just exist. I've never really sought out much of a future for myself. I just let time pass me by. But it's not just my future that's gone by the wayside. I have no plans for the present, either. I'm just a wanderer. Hell, after all this time, I still haven't even been able to answer one simple question. Is it okay to destroy other people's delusions? Is it something we have to do, maybe? Asahi. I mean, look at what we've been saying. Aren't delusions just other people's dreams? If they are, then there's only one thing we can do. And what's that? Take out Delusion Contractor Cannon. As long as he exists, people's delusions will just continue to spread. I see. So if we stop canon, we won't have to force ourselves to nullify any more delusions. Stop him at the source. Regardless, should I ever lay eyes on him again, I plan on tearing him apart piece by piece. Yeah, he has a friend. Uh, DAB is probably planning on taking him down, right? You know what the worst thing is? Canon hasn't showed up ever since like three chapters ago, I believe. Like, that's the real interesting part. He just comes and goes. I don't think so. To them, Cannon's kind of convenient to have around. Hey, not bad, kid. What do you mean by that? How about we get going and see? Get going? Where? The fairy tale delusion scape. There may be a clue left over in there. But still, but still, which one do we go to? There are three of them, right? Crap. Does that mean I'm going to have to check out one of them by myself again? Hey! You had me providing you with valuable backup and emotional support! You're Bullshit! You're about the Bureau's warning letters. Going solo right now is a very bad idea. Phew. Thanks, Bureau. The closest of the three fairy tale delusion scapes is the one on Main Street that Reiji and I cleared out. <laughs> Look at that. You already have a plan of attack. <laughs> was that so hard? Akemi, was this the reason you had us going around introducing ourselves? Did you know this would happen? That's a very bold theory. 
But haven't you heard the saying, secrets are a woman's most flattering accessory? No, no more dawdling. You all have a delusion scape to explore. Off with you now. Away, away. I guess you're right. Come on, team. Let's get exploratory. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, so there's this fucking side quest mission here. Gotta remember that. How many side quest missions are here? Damn, there's a lot. Holy shit. Well, we're gonna be doing a lot of side quest missions, apparently. But I'm gonna start going training up here. Uh, well, first off, we're gonna go save. I might get some more money because I need it. I'm gonna save and then we're gonna do some more um uh oh, good, a safe spot. I can use Cause the next few parts we're gonna be doing fucking side quest missions. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. And always stay positive! I gotta go train off camera a little bit. We'll get some more money pretty much. Cause I'm dead fucking poor after the next part. <laughs>